Um, you know, it was Churchill who said, history will be kind to me for I intend to write it. Well, history will be kind to all of you because you are writing the history of our transportation future. And I can't thank all of you enough. I thank Honda for giving me this opportunity to lease this car and to drive the present, not just the future, but really the present. But I thank all of you for being co-parents with me and with Honda. Uh, it really is an exciting opportunity, an exciting time in our lives, much as I suspect our great-grandparents went through when they were sitting around tables like this wondering about, should we invest in the buggy whip company or should we invest in that newfangled thing called uh, the horseless carriage? And, uh, and I think we all know that history showed that was a, a good start, but it's time to evolve. Let me leave you with this thought from John F. Kennedy, who always found a way to say it at least as good as Shakespeare. He said, is it not basically a matter of human rights, the right to breathe air as nature provided it, the right of future generations to a healthy existence? For our most basic common link is that we all inhabit the same small planet. We all breathe the same air, and we all cherish our children's future. Thank you for making that future a brighter one. Thank you all. So um, the, the one thing we pride ourselves on is that this is a no compromise vehicle. Um, drives like any other vehicle on the road. You've driven one, obviously, um, except for one thing. This really giant key <laughs> that you have to use. But uh, this is just representative of uh, the transfer of uh, this vehicle to you, and uh, we wish you step down here wish you all the best. Sure. Okay, so from an agenda standpoint, um, I think, Tim, now uh, lunch is going to be served, and then right after that, uh, we'll kind of give everyone enough time, and then we'll actually go outside and uh, give Terry the real keys to the car, and we can all watch him drive off. Okay, thanks. So enjoy lunch. Just get a close-up.